Welcome to the very first Nansa Bargain Hunt. A team from both Magdalen Street and Erland Road shops will go head to head to see who can make the most at auction. First, we say hello to Team Erlem. We have Darren, Alice and Sarah. And then over to Magdalen Street, where we have Mike and Tom. We have tasked each team to find an item made of fabric that they can take to auction. Right. Oh, yeah. Let's check this thing out. What about this thing? Yay, nay. Nah, a bit cheap. No. A bit cheap. Uh, <laughs> no. Might be about a couple hundred quid when it on there or something. Oh, that's quite cool, the Levi's Pinnacle. Yeah. Dungarees, that's what Sarah wears. So that could be a quite a good thing to sell, because it's Levi's. This. <gasps> jumpsuit. Jump! Because cool. Alice Templey is Somerset by Alice Templey, which is quite pricey. Right, I think it's between drum. these three things. Drum so, thing what do you think, Alice? Oh, I think I prefer this because I love that animal. Oh, uh, you would go for the big cat, wouldn't you? <laughs> I think I'm gonna not do the Levi pinnacle. <laughs> okay. Sarah's reputation is on the line. I just don't know how to explain <laughs> this. <laughs> hey, Betty! Betty! Yeah, what you got? Hey, you want to go see? Hey! A T-shirt. Oh, it's got the little horse guy on it. That's cool. Yeah, horse guy, isn't it cool, is it, man? Is, is, the, is the horse guy good? Yeah, well, let's just not um, keep it in the one place because we do we look, look like the horse in the back. Yeah? Hey. Let's take a look at this thing. What is that? Ralph, Ralph Loren. Yes, Ralph Loren. That's all right. Depends what you stole, isn't it? I thought that's expensive. Of course it's expensive. Need money, don't we? Alright. Is this the one? Yeah, dude. Okay, let's see. I go! This that 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 how much right. it cost. It is You're <laughs> cool the American dude, you're cool the American man. <laughs> oh, I think I've tried this because I love that animal. Like, oh cat, you would right? go for the big cat, wouldn't you? <laughs> so Team Erlem picked the jumpsuit. Team Magdalene the t-shirt. Next up, they need to find something breakable that they can take to auction. Mm, this um, cup? Yeah, maybe that cup. Well, well puzzle pieces, those are pretty much already broken, really, if you think about it. Nope. They're quite good, because that's um, a Port Marion Botanical Garden one. Look at that, a giant apple. Giant apple. I don't think that's the kind, I don't think. Oh, how about this one? Uh, maybe that one. I got these. Do you think they're breakable? That could break, yeah. That's definitely breakable. <laughs> Maybe something like a picture. Picture. Maybe. I don't think. I like, yeah. The last time I saw it, I didn't see you put it out there. It was there before you even got it out. Mm, yeah, I don't think it had anything to do with this one. I don't know where that came that's, from. And last time I saw it, that's a lot bigger. The other thing I was thinking of were these Game of Thrones bookends. Oh. Um, is that a wolf? Yeah. More it's like the, um, werewolf. It's the dire wolf. And so the official Game of Thrones merch. And How about a Chinese one? You know, it's breakable of Chinese. That is definitely breakable. But it doesn't fetch much money now. Because the blue and white china is kind of in lots of places. Dang it, make up my mind! Yeah. Huh? Hey, 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 hey. This is just hidden here. It's probably in there for like a hundred years or some such. What do you think? This looks oh, old and hey, mate, we need breakable. Film. Mate, we need to film it. I think we should go for these. Are you sure? I hope it's not breakable. Well, if I smash it, <laughs> I don't know. Don't! It It'll be. be an accident. Well, I had a little research of them, and they can sell on eBay for about fifty pounds. So fifty pounds! Wow, that's the most expensive I ever seen. Quite a lot for some bookends. 
Well, maybe I should go with that because nobody bought it. So yeah, someone else would love that. Like a wolf. If, do you think a werewolf might be here? I hope there's not a werewolf here. Yeah, my sound effects. The good sound effects. All right, with it. So what do you think the artist was trying to communicate in this painting? I think the artist... I think the the way that the uh, the boat reflects off the water is indicative of the artist's uh, intention yeah. to break this painting at some point. Yeah, like, if, if, you, if you see this in an artist place, you know... Like in a museum? Like in a museum, yes, dude. I think this is what we're going to go with. Yes, you can go with me. With Magdalene settled on the picture and Erlem on the bookends, we move on to the next item. Each team needed to find something made of wood. No, we need to be able to find something either. Something yep. wood. Something yep. wood. Oh. Worms. <laughs> well, we can't give them a whole like shelf, can we? I'm not lifting that. That's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. Um. I don't think that's wood. No. Oh, fishy. Fishy, fishy's quite nice. I quite like the fishy. Yeah, it made out of wood. Something made out of wood. There's wood everywhere, I don't get it. <laughs> I found this wood. There. Like a spork and spoon. They're quite nice, aren't they? At least I got this. Is that it? Hello! No teeny compoey. No, no response? No response. Maybe maybe it doesn't understand English. Maybe you have to knock. <coughs> hello, hello, hello. Nothing? Let me see if it opens. No, nothing in there. It must be broken. <coughs> or maybe it's just not meant to respond. I don't know. No, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> is this it? This is it, dude. What is it? Some sort of... You know, if we don't know what it is, it's probably really expensive. Like, it's gotta be like. Well, if it can be expensive, I think it might be, you know, fashion brand, like, back in the old days. Okay, what we got? It's like a teapot without a spout? Yeah. I don't know. It's gotta be worth something. Yeah. Alright, we're going with the. Uh, what is this? Uh, what is this? A wooden teapot, no spout? thing. Yes. Right? Is that what we're doing? I think we're done. Cool. I, I, All right. It's got to be worth something. Yeah, it's got to be worth it. Really if David Dick is in, in, in here, that might That's be right. worth it. Yeah. What do you guys think of this? The picture of Elm Hill. More like old fashioned, like a time in the past. Yeah, but it was done by a local artist. And so I think this will sell better than that because it's a local huh? thing and it's a local sale. What do you think? Do you want, do you think the box or the picture? Do you toss a coin? Um, we don't have the tail coins. I got an idea. Um, rock, paper, scissors? Okay. <laughs> so, what, are you going to represent the box or the picture? Well, I prefer the box because they're pretty. Okay, I'm going to do the picture. Oh, do you want to do it, Darren? You're going to represent the picture. Do you know how you rock, paper, scissors? Not a clue. Okay, oh, me and Alice are doing it. Well, paper, scissors. Well, that one. Oh. 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 <laughs> so we're going to go with the picture. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Decided. Cheapest tips. Erlem chose the picture and Magdalen Street, the teapot, spoutless, wooden thing. The final round, each team needs to pick an item for the opposite team to sell. Will they be nice and pick something that will make a bit of money? Or will they pick something that won't sell in order to try and win themselves? What do you think, Alice? Do I think like be me? nice. Yeah, I think we're a nice shop. I don't want to be mean. No, we don't want to be mean to them. Mm -hmm. We don't want to make them lose money. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll be nice and we'll choose something that we think they can get some money on. Yes. yes. <laughs> What's this? Mm, that's a bad thing. Like, is it like too breakable? No, it's too breakable, but it's not got an Insta name or anything on it. So. The Ooh. mask, oh yeah, the mask is quite cool. Hey, how much was it? Is it ten pounds? Right, so I think it's between the mask and cat picture. 
So I really like the cat picture. Maybe I want the cat picture. Well, you want a cat then? Go ahead, because you love cats. Yeah. Maybe the cat picture? Yes. Because yeah. you love cats. No, I know cats are popular, aren't they? Yep. Back Meow. in the street. <laughs> Meow. Should be nice or mean? Should be nice or mean? Should be between nice and that mean. Oh, so you want to be okay. You know. I think I see what you're saying. You don't want to. You don't want to be overly nice, but then you don't want to be like really rude. You want to be kind of respectful. See, when I see that item, I just think respect. Respect, yes. That's right. But the good thing is, it's not um, the new sort of thing you've seen in a person's house. So yeah, let's get them to them. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. As an example, it's only about two pounds. So you know. Does it have a name? Bob. What, is Bob, Bob a good name? What about Bob Woodland? Because he's wood. Bob Woodland, I like that. That's, that's some good logic. In fact, it is Bob Woodland. Woo! How'd you know that? What? No, man, I just hang out the blues. Wow. That's what I call out the blues. I think, this is, I think this is what we got here. Woo! This only cost two pounds, so I guess two pounds. Two pounds for Bob Woodland? Yeah, man. With all items selected, they were off to auction. All items were taken to the KC Youth Club auction. Some items did have a reserve to ensure they get a fair price, so it's possible that they might not sell. If they don't sell, they'll end up back at the charity shop or on our eBay store, so if there's any items that you're interested in that don't sell, we'll give you information at the end of the video. Oh, 
And it's time for the results of the auction. Team Earlham made £14. Items unsold were the Game of Thrones bookends and the picture. Both items are will be sold on our eBay store. Team Magdalene sold all items and made £37. So that's just in time for the Team Magdalene to show us their victory dance. Yeah, all right. For you. Okay. Okay. Okay.